Hey guys, this is Josh with Down to the Roots. I have some food scraps that I'm getting ready to prepare for my worm bin, so I'm just gonna make a real quick video on how I process them for my worms. Basically what I do is I take all of our food scraps and cut them up into smaller pieces, roughly an inch, and put them in a gallon Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. These strawberry tops are already the right size, so all I do is just go ahead and toss them in here. On the bananas, I will just slice them into roughly one inch slices, just like that. And on the oranges, I will slice them in half and then cut those halves into quarters so they'll be into eight pieces, roughly one inch in size. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting all these food scraps up and I will get back with you and show you what I do with them after I get them in the bag. Okay, so that took me roughly about four or five minutes, so not too bad. I ended up with half of a bag of cut up food scraps. That is as full as I make the bags because I'm only feeding the one bin that has a pound of worms in it, so two quarts is plenty of food. If you are feeding multiple bins or you have a bigger bin, you might want to just fill the bag up completely before you store it and thaw it out to feed and stuff. But what I will do is I will flatten this out and throw it in the freezer. It thaws out a whole lot easier whenever it's thin instead of being a big clump. Then whenever it comes time to feed, I will just stick this in the sink the night before and let it set out and thaw, and then I'll feed it to my bin. What, we, what I do normally is with smaller portions of food scraps, this was a lot that we had sitting around, but if I just had the strawberry tops or just the bananas, I would cut them up and put them in a bag, stick it in the freezer, and then I would just get the bag back out every time I had more food scraps and add to it until it was halfway full. And then I flatten it out and freeze it and then move on to the next bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the freezer and I'll show you some of the other bags that I have. I know this has a lot of oranges in it. And some people say you're not supposed to feed them citrus, but I have done it plenty of times and I never seem to have any troubles. The skins take a lot, or the peels take a lot longer to break down, but I don't mind because they eventually break down and it's a lot less work than pureeing the stuff up and all that stuff. So here's a couple of bags you see in here frozen. It's got strawberries and onions, and a couple of limes. And that one, I think it's got some broccoli and pineapple and stuff. I believe that's a leftover tray from our uh, Christmas food and vegetable tray that we have. But that's all I do. Freezing the food scraps helps a couple of things. One, it breaks down the food better. It busts the cell walls of it as it freezes and it releases its moisture, softens up, makes it easier for the worms to get to it. And two, it will kill off any fruit flies or fungus gnats that might be in the like orange peels, banana peels and stuff. So that's why I freeze my food scraps. That's how I process all my food scraps from my bin, and I'll just come in here and pull out of it as I need to. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment box below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with my worm bins. Thank you for watching.